Great. Well, welcome to today's webinar. Um, my name is Ben Teo. I uh, work for Connecting Up. I'm the Content and Community Coordinator. That's uh, that's me there. Um, so I do a lot of work online with um, social media, blog posts, learning center articles, all that sort of stuff that we have on our website. Um, and I also run some social media workshops. And if you need help uh, with your not-for-profits, uh, social media or online communications, we offer uh, mentoring sessions through our membership program as well. Um, now. Today's webinar, we'll be looking at um, some really simple social media tips um, to help you get involved with uh, the Giving Tuesday movement, um, which we've been talking a little bit lately, um, uh, connecting up. So, firstly, um, if there are any questions during uh, the webinar, there should be a little questions box. If you can um, see that, you can just type your questions in there. Let's give that a test. Um, if, if you can hear me okay, just type hello in the question box and I'll be able to see that. Awesome. Well done. Okay, so let's uh, jump over and see what Giving Tuesday is all about. So Giving Tuesday started in uh, the US last year and um, it was an opportunity for them to celebrate giving um, on a national level and they ended up getting about two and a half thousand organisations involved with the day and that included not-for-profit organisations and businesses and really it was um, an opportunity for them to um, show how um, America gives and, and give um, uh, not-for-profits the chance to uh, activate their communities and get them involved in um, giving programs. So whether that was fundraising or um, donating um, goods or volunteering, uh, it, was, it was a great show of how people give back. And so this year they're bringing it to Australia and Connecting Up is really proud to be able to um, use our networks to promote Giving Tuesday. And we're hoping that um, the Australian not-for-profits and businesses can get behind it just as much as uh, the US organisations did. Um, and it's not a very complicated idea. Um, simply, um, organisations need to run some sort of initi initiative that promotes giving um, on the 3rd of December. So it's right at the start of uh, the giving period. So as we start rolling um, towards Christmas pageants and uh, sales and all that sort of thing, it's a great way to just start the conversation about giving and, and make it um, less about presents, I guess, and more about how we give back to our community. So it's really exciting and we already have a bunch of organisations signed up on the Giving Tuesday website, so givingtuesday.org.au. So if your organisation hasn't signed up, um, please do. And as I was saying, it doesn't need to be a complicated uh, campaign that you need to create to be involved. Um, it can be really very simple. And so today's webinar is all about um, using social, me social media to create really um, simple campaigns that you can use at any time of the year. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on Giving Tuesday. So um, let's jump ahead and have a look. So um, we're seeing more and more not-for-profits using social media really well. So they're sharing stories about what's happening, showing their impact and, and engaging their audiences. And so for Giving Tuesday, um, to make it really simple, what we recommend is that you look at um, this element of, of digital storytelling. You know, how do we use online tools or digital tools to um, share the story of your community or show the story of your impact? And there are some um, very basic ways you can do that. And one of them would be um, just simply asking your, uh, your supporters to send a tweet or send an image or uh, write on your Facebook page and just say, I want to make a difference because blah, 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 um, and tag with Giving Tuesday, or I give back by um, volunteering on giving uh, on Tuesday nights, and that could be their way of giving back. Um, and you could use that in whatever way, shape, or form you want. So that's just a very simple way you can do it. So you, let's say, for example, in the lead up to Giving Tuesday, every, every Tuesday even, you could say, please leave a photo or leave a comment on our Facebook page, and we'll collate that and we'll um, bring that all together so that on the actual Tuesday, so on the 3rd of December, we will create some sort of story, some sort of um, media piece that in involves all of your um, all of your comments and all of your contributions. 
Um, so that's one way of doing it. Another way may be to um, simply use it as a thank you day for your organization. So we've seen a number of people um, signed up to the website now and that's exactly how they're going to be using Giving Tuesday. So on the 3rd of December, um, they're going to be creating a little um, video or a little um, story um, from their staff saying thank you to all of their supporters and all of their um, community of people. So um, they're just two different ways that we could use Giving Tuesday to um, to show how Australia gives back and show how your not-for-profit gives. And I'm going to show you this in a more practical sense now um, and looking at some of the major social media platforms. So of course the, the big one that we often look at first is Facebook. Um, so Facebook's really simple. Just simply ask your um, your followers or your fans to um, post a photo on your uh, Facebook timeline and then you can grab those photos and maybe on the actual day, on the 3rd of December, um, put them into a photo album. So a really good example of this, if you're looking, um, is Australia.com. They often um, post photos from their fans and they're regularly getting photos from all around Australia. Um, and you can see there they're getting quite a lot of engagement on that. So they've got something like, you know, 8,000 shares of, of the photo album and um, lots of likes and lots of comments. And the reason why... Uh, well, part of the reason why they get so much engagement on these posts is because it's what we call user-generated content. So this is content that comes from the community itself, and that has a lot more weight um, to it uh, in terms of personal networks and sharing and um, all that sort of thing, as opposed to, say, uh, Tourism Australia going out and taking photos and putting it in an album. And, and that may be great, but when um, your community feels like they're involved with what you're doing, uh, the, there's a lot more, um, I guess there's a lot more uh, potential behind that in terms of growing support for your cause. Uh, another example of this is the Bureau, uh, Bureau of Meteorology. I'm just going to jump over to their, um, to their Facebook page here. So on their Facebook page, they do the same sort of thing, um, but instead of asking um, their fans to post to their um, to their Facebook timeline or to their wall, uh, they ask them to um, to actually email in. So there's different ways that you can ask people to um, to send their uh, photos in or send their contributions in. I guess one nice uh, thing about having people email. Um, you, their content is that uh, it allows you to then have their email address. You can then, um, you know, continue conversations with them and say thanks and, and personalize your communication with them a little bit more in the future as opposed to um, just having their content on your Facebook page. So in the case of Australia.com um, or um, See Australia, uh, it's very much a case of, you know, it's all happening on Facebook itself. So that's a really simple way to do it. So you could just get your photos and put them in an album uh, and then post that album on the 3rd of December. Really easy. And as you can see, um, it gets engagement. And all you would need to, then, uh, to do then is uh, tag it with the Giving Tuesday hashtag. And that, um, that way, at Connecting Up, uh, we can see who's talking about Giving Tuesday on the Tuesday. And we can share that content and, and create stories as well around um, what you're doing too. Another great tip for um, Facebook, if you're posting uh, photos from uh, from your fans, you can actually allow them to tag themselves. So once you post their photo, they can then go in and tag themselves to say, hey, look, this is my photo. See how it's featured um, in the Giving Tuesday album. And that way their friends can see it as well and they can, um, they can like it and, and share and, and whatnot there. So to allow people to tag their photos, it's really easy. You just open up your uh, Facebook page and there will be a little button in the admin section that says edit page. So just click that and then go to the settings tab that you can see there and then just click um, allow others to tag um, photos posted by your page. In this case, um, it's the Giving Tuesday page. Super simple and um, a really nice way to... Um, involve your Facebook community in um, what you're doing. All right, let's jump over to Pinterest. So we're seeing a few more people on um, Pinterest these days, and um, especially if, if sort of the, 
the demographic that you're looking for matches the same sort of demographic uh, for Pinterest or there's the same sort of um, uh, interest groups um, are on Pinterest, then it's a, it's a fantastic platform, very visual, um, very engaging as well. I think a lot of people um, use it to share uh, not only their content but other people's content. So that's really important for, I guess, not-for-profits trying to build their presence. If you can create really um, visually engaging content on Pinterest, people tend to share it. So um, Pinterest revolves around boards and as a, um, as a not-for-profit, you can create a Pinterest account and then you can create these boards um, exactly like a pin board where you can create, um, post images around a specific topic. So you may create like a Giving Tuesday um, pin board and you can pull in photos from, uh, I guess, all the different things that you're doing around the place and pin them to Pinterest. You may have blog posts or news articles that you have on your website that have images attached to them. You can share them on your um, Pinterest board as well. Um, another interesting option that you could explore if you're familiar with Pinterest, so you can create group boards. Now, group boards are um, an opportunity for you to invite other people to contribute to a board. So um, you may create an image board, again, around Giving Tuesday, and you may say, hey, look, we want to see how uh, you're contributing, how you're giving back, and ask people to take photos, or even um, ask them to share quotes or share um, ideas that inspire them to give. And so you would um, personally invite people to contribute to that board and um, start sharing uh, their ideas. And so what that would look like on Pinterest, I'll just jump over to um, our browser again. Okay, so you can see here on our Connecting Up Pinterest board, we have a few different boards that we use for things like infographics and, and quotes and um, YouTube videos. It's almost like a bookmarking um, system for us as well in terms of finding content online. But you'll see here that this digital storytelling um, board has this little icon here um, that has... Uh, that means that it's a, a group board, so other people can contribute to that. So we do have a couple of other people. Um, if you look in the uh, left-hand corner there, you'll see, um, uh, let me just, yep, so you'll see that there, it'll list the contributors there in the corner. Um, so more people can contribute to that board. Um, the only downside to that is that it's uh, it can be tricky um, because uh, people may post things and you, you can't, uh, well, you're not actively moderating it. So here's another community board that, um, that Connecting Up is part of. I'm just going to open this up. And you can see here in the toolbar, just after, underneath the descriptions, you can see that um, there are a hundred, you know, there are 153 plus people who contribute to this board. And if we scroll down, we can see um, different people contributing um, to the same board. What's great about this is as well is that you can turn on notifications for um, when people. Uh, post things to a shared board and it gives you an idea of who's um, sort of active in your community on Pinterest as well or active, um, actively pinning things. Um, on the other hand, if, uh, if you want to contribute uh, to a board, it's a, it's a nice way to get your name out there as well. So you may find a group board that you love. So you, let's say you found this community board here and you said, oh, my organisation has some things that would be perfect for this board. Um, and and every time we pin something, then the other people who are involved in that board will, will uh, see your name pop up, and they'll, you know, they'll be front of mind when they um, when they think about this sort of topic. So group boards are fantastic. Um, another thing that you can do with Pinterest, which is quite handy, is you can embed um, boards or embed profiles um, and embed. Um, individual pins inside a blog post or on your website. So let's say um, you've been curating this uh, this Giving Tuesday uh, pin board, uh, you know, up until December 3rd. And then on 3rd of December, you may want to write a blog post about, um, about how your community gives back or why giving is important to your organization. And then you would go and embed 
um, get the code from Pinter from Pinterest and pop that in your um, blog post and then it'll display the whole board um, within your website itself. Um, and that looks great as well. Um, to, to find that code, you, you can go to uh, Pinterest and just uh, do a search for the code or just look it up on your, in your search engine and you'll find um, a link to, to add the code. It's very simple. All you need is um, to add a little bit of JavaScript, which is in there, um, and a, another bit of code to embed the board. It's very, very straightforward. So that's Pinterest for you. All right, Twitter. Um, now, let's get an indication of who's on Twitter. If you're in, in the questions, can you just write a yes or a no in the question box to see if you're on Twitter? Great, so it looks like a lot of you are already, which is fantastic. So um, I guess, Twitter is a little bit trickier. Um, I guess you don't have the same, like Twitter doesn't natively um, do images in the same way that like say Facebook or Pinterest does, but there are ways that we can use Twitter to create stories um, that are also visually engaging. So um, let me give you an example. So I would, let's jump back to that first. So let's look at hashtags. Um, Throughout Giving Tuesday um, and then lead up to it, if you did a, um, a search on Twitter for um, the Giving Tuesday hashtag, you'll see heaps of people that are, that are already talking about it. So um, there are people in the US who are carrying on the conversation from last year's um, Giving Tuesday activity. There are quite a number of people who um, are already um, taking on initiatives and creating, um, I guess, or creating that build up towards the 3rd of December. Um, and there are some people who are simply using every single Tuesday in the year to celebrate Giving Tuesday, which is great. So um, let's jump over to Twitter and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here on the Connecting Up uh, account, lovely colourful background there. Um, I've just done a simple search up here on Giving Tuesday and this is showing me Giving Tuesday tweets in real time. So these are all the latest tweets about Giving Tuesday. So one of them is com Community Centre Banking um, and they're an Australian um, partner which is fantastic to see them. They're already part of the, um, part of the conversation. Um, but I'll just scroll down and you'll see there's plenty more people talking about Giving Tuesday. Okay, so let's say you wanted to um, sort of capture what's happening on Twitter in, um, in different ways. Uh, an easy way to do it would just be to, you know, to use your Twitter account to retweet people to um, actually just have that conversation with people. So somebody, um, so let's look at this um, guy here, Alex. Um, he is uh, talking about Giving Tuesday, um, I guess, uh, you could then talk to him and, and talk to him about, you know, why giving is important or just um, maybe retweet him because he's being a bit funny with pirate language and all that sort of thing. So um, you could engage people directly on Twitter. You can also use a tool like um, Storify. So this is uh, a tool that lets you uh, curate content from all around the web and it's used a lot alongside Twitter. So you can create stories um, and pull content from wherever you want to. So you can pull content from uh, YouTube, from Facebook, um, from websites, from Instagram um, and all over the place. So we may, for in, in this example, do a Giving Tuesday story. So I've just typed in Giving Tuesday there and a description, demo storify about Giving Tuesday. Oops. Hey. Let's spell that right. Storify. Now I'll show you the example here. We're going to click on um, the Twitter icon here on the right. And in that little search box, I'm just going to do the Giving Tuesday hashtag. Hey, check that out. We can pull this little mention here. 
Hello. Um, into the Giving Tuesday um, story. Um, and we could even do, let's say we wanted to look on Insta, uh, I haven't connected our Instagram account, so I won't do that right now. Um, but we could do a link and I could embed Okay, I'm just going to embed a link to the Giving Tuesday website. Um, and there's all sorts of things that you can put in here. And you can add text as well. So this is a webinar about Giving Tuesday. And you can build a whole story and you can um, move these around so you can change it to chronological chronological order. So let's say you have um, people tweeting Instagram photos or tweeting um, different types of content or um, sharing different stories with you on various platforms. So they may be on Twitter um, plus YouTube plus they may be writing blog posts. You can use Storify to pull that all together and on Giving Tuesday on the 3rd of December you pull this together and create that story and share that with your community. Really simple um, and really easy. So Again, this is a free tool um, you can sign up for very quickly uh, and a very powerful way of using social media or curating social media. All right, let's jump back to the PowerPoint. Another thing that you may want to try is actually capture people's tweets. Um, so you may ask them um, to tweet about, again, why they give back or how they give back. And you may want to create some sort of, um, I guess, image to go along with that that you can then share, say, on Pinterest or share on Facebook. So you might ask them, hey, share share a tweet with us and, and, um, and then we'll get back to you and ask you if it's okay for us to share that on Facebook. And they may say, yeah, no worries. And instead of just copying the text into Facebook, you may want to use a free tool like um, behappy.me or quozio.com. And these allow you to really quickly and easily add text to an image. And that, that, that's, as, that's as basic as it is. Um, or you may have your own favorite um, image editor. So you may have, say, Adobe Photoshop um, or one of those other like image editing um, packages on your website, or on your computer. I'll just show you um, behappy.me, really simple. Hello from Giving Tuesday. Um, ben. So you can see that just created very simply. I can add, you know, some little icons. Very simple. I can change the fonts around as well if I wanted to. And I can just download that image. And um, if I download that image, it will have a little watermark down there that says um, be happy dot me. And I can change colors. So if you want something very, very simple, it could, it could be... Um, so let's say if it was from my Twitter account, and so it would be from uh, at hello ben Tio. Um I like giving because it makes me feel good. So that may um, that may be example of what somebody tweets, and so you capture that and make that into an image and then take that image, download it, put it on Facebook and that can be part of the album or put it on um, Pinterest and it can be part of your board. So that's how you can take a, a tweet, make it into an image and then um, use it on multiple platforms. Um, again, if you're looking for content to share, or if you have, you have your Facebook page, and you're always wondering, oh, what do I post? Um, I have these great tweets that are happening over here. How do I get them onto Facebook? Um, that's a nice way to to bring all your social networks together and, and also it shows that you are on Twitter. So your Facebook followers may say, oh, hey, look, your, um, your organization's on Twitter. I'll go um, jump on Twitter as well. Okay. So that's just been a quick, quick rundown on Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter and how you can use them for Giving Tuesday. I might just pause here and see if there are any questions before we jump into Animoto. So did anybody have any questions? Nope, all good. Hey, nice work. All right, now comes the fun part. So 
we've looked at some really basic stuff like so how do we get photos onto our Facebook page how we get how do we get um, more user generated content so how do we get people more involved with what we're doing by actually giving us content and sharing their stories with us um, the next step is you know how do we take this an, another step forward so instead of just getting photos and then making a photo album how about getting photos and creating a video now that can seem fairly daunting uh, and um, there's a lot of really high-tech video editing software out there um, that that you can do fantastic things with um, but if you don't have the time and you just want to keep it really simple there are uh, there are free tools out there and one of my favorites for not-for-profits in particular is called Animoto um, now if you haven't seen Animoto before it's all it is is um, a way to grab your photos and short videos um, upload them to the website and it automatically creates a fairly dynamic video for you so at the beginning of the presentation um, that link that that video that I shared with you that was made using Animoto really simple okay so one of the reasons why I really like this is um, that they also offer a free pro account for not-for-profit organizations um, who sign up so pro accounts I think are worth about um, seventy dollars or so a year uh, but they give that away for free uh, for not-for-profits and the turnaround um, from application to actually um, processing it is, is pretty quick we we reapplied and um, for our own connecting up account and we got confirmation in a, in a couple of days so it means that if you need to um, get a campaign going now um, and start asking your followers to start sharing photos uh, then you know set up your Animoto account register for um, register for the not-for-profit um, program uh, get your free upgrade and start playing with it and get a feel for it and then on the December 3rd when you're ready to pull all your other photos together um, you're ready to go so to to be a part of um, the not-for-profit um, uh, discount you just need to go to animoto.com and you can either scroll down to the bottom of the page and see where it says nonprofits or you can just go to um, animoto.com slash causes uh, some other benefits that you get with the pro account is that uh, you can create full high-definition videos um, from the content uh, so what that means is that you can download that content and put it on any of your your uh, video sharing sites so whether that's um, directly on Facebook or on YouTube or on Vimeo um, you can upload them to there so if you don't want people to, to go to Animoto to watch your videos that's fine you can um, download your, your own copy um, or if you want to create like a, a presentation and you, that you want to take around to conferences for example or you want to take around to schools you can um, pop that video onto a USB drive or, or a DVD Another benefit of actually keeping your video on Animoto or using Animoto to, to share your content um, is that you can also have uh, an overlay is what they call it so if anybody pauses the video or if they um, get to the end of the video there's a link at the end that says you know donate to your cause and you can change that text and I can show you how to do that in a little bit. Um, another point here before we jump to the Animoto demo is that YouTube also offers a, a program for nonprofits. So if you go to youtube.com slash nonprofits, you can sign up for their um, program. And again, they give you a whole bunch of extra features that um, general personal accounts don't get. So there's things like um, video streaming. So if you ever have a live event that you want to stream um, on uh, YouTube, you can do that. Um, you can add additional overlays so again you can add links to um, your donation pages or back to your website um, and there are a few other bits and pieces that you can do uh, that that again general accounts can't do so I highly recommend you go to youtube.com and sign up for their nonprofits program as well and that way you can use Animoto plus your YouTube nonprofits account as a super combo and have great online content that you can share with your community so let's uh, let's have a look at Animoto directly because it's the best way for me to show you all right so you've got all of these videos uh, all these photos that um, that your community's created uh, and given to you and you may want to ask them is it okay if I put this all in a video and they'll say yep no worries so let me open up a an Animoto screen here 
I just want to check, can everybody, can you see my mouse on the screen as well or is it just the static screen? Can you let me know in the, in the questions? Yep, you can see the mouse as well. Fantastic. All right. So if you're on the Animoto website, um, you've created an account already, you just hit the create button here. And what you get to is, um, hold on. What you get to is a screen that looks a bit like, oops, sorry. You get to a screen that looks a bit like this. So this is um, where you start. There are a whole bunch of different um, themes that you can use or styles that you can use uh, to create your video. Some of them are quite playful and fun, like the senior year one here. I'm just hovering my mouse over it. There's also some uh, some really basic ones. And with your Animoto um, Causes account or that non-profit account, you'll get access to these exclusive pro um, displays too, which is great. So if you just had a free account, you'd have the basic ones. Like you can go to popular and have a look at what's here. And they're all quite fun. And you can change these as well. So let's say you started creating one and you thought, oh, I want to change it out and, and switch. You can do that too. So that's not a problem. For the meantime, I'm going to stick with um, the page turner that's down the bottom here. This is the one that, um, that we've used in the demo. And whenever you, whenever you click on a, um, yep, so whenever you click, it gives you a bit of a demo, shows you what the content will, be look, will look like. You go, yep, that looks good. So I'll click select style. All right. The next step is to add all your content into this. So as you can see here, these are the photos and images and videos and text that, um, that are used in the demo. So this is the demo content. But um, normally when you create a new one, this would be blank. So all you would need to do is click add pics and vids on the left hand side there. And you can then uh, either upload content from your um, from your computer. So you may have some pictures there already. Um, so let's say you asked your community to, to email the photos in. So you would have those um, on your computer. Um, and you can also do little short videos as well. Um, or you can connect your um, other services. So you may have a Flickr account or an Instagram account. Um, with Facebook, I don't think you can um, import from Facebook pages, unfortunately. So um, you may need to download your photos of Facebook first um, if you want to put them into the Animoto video. That, that's pretty straightforward as well on, on Facebook. You just click the download link. Um, they also have a little collection down at the bottom here. If you want to add some sort of stock photos or some stock video clips in as well, just to um, add something a bit fresh, you can do that too. Um, the video library, some people like to use the effects here. So they've got the, um, the old countdown timer um, and you can throw that in. And that's pretty cool. Um, and some other little, you know, little effects that you can add. So all you would do is upload all your content. It may take a little bit of time if you've got lots and lots of photos. Um, and once it's done, you'll have all your content here. Now, what you can do next is add text. So you can add these little text boxes. So this one here, for example, very simple, you have a title and then you have a little subtitle and it will give you a character count on the right hand side here as well. So it will tell you how many characters you've got left, left to actually fill that box. So it's not too big. Um, each photo you can also have a caption. So I can edit that caption and add something else in there and that will show in the video as well. I haven't put any captions on the, on, um, on the demo ones but you could do that if you wanted to. So another way of making it a little bit more um, visual so people can read. Um, the video is really cool as well. So being able to add little bits of video um, can be a nice little way to break up um, the photos. And videos, uh, you can have, um, I believe, up to a 10 second length, okay? Or you can make it shorter. So this actual video is, is quite a bit longer than 10 seconds. It's, well, it's 19 seconds, um, but I can only use 10 seconds maximum out of all this, or I can go down to say like one second of it. Um, so the way you would do this is you would choose um, the length that you would want, and then you just find whereabouts 
in the actual clip you would like that to start. If you wanted to demo it, you just hit the play button and it will show you what that 10 seconds will look like. So this is a, um, this is a video clip that was given to us as part of a, um, a campaign that we did um, for a photo competition and video competition to, um, for some of our clients to enter. Um, you can also turn audio on and off. So if I wanted to keep the audio of this video playing, I could do that or I could turn it off. Uh, so the demo that you saw, all of the audio was turned off. But let's say, for example, these videos here, let's say um, we actually had people talking and saying thank you um, and not just holding up the sign and waving, then you could, add, you could keep that audio in there. If you need to change the position, really easy, just drag and move and you'll see that it, it moves by itself. Very, very straightforward. Okay. Um, one of the fantastic things about this and um, one thing that I think often gets overlooked when creating videos is that uh, the audio part of your video um, should be properly licensed. So if you create a video on YouTube and you don't have the, the right license for it, so if you don't have permission to use that, um, that audio, um, then your video may be removed um, or they may ask you to credit it. Um, the great thing about Animoto is that all the audio that they provide you is licensed to be used um, by Animoto users and there's a huge database. With the pro account that you get again with your uh, non-profit account, um, you literally get thousands of audio tracks that you can use um, and there are varying lengths, um, there's instrumental tracks, there's, um, you know, there's different genres um, that are also um, often broken down by, you know, occasions, so it makes it easier to, to find. So um, here you can see just some of the examples that you've got here. And you can also preview all of these, so you can press play and listen to them. And they've also got different lengths. So let's say you wanted to create a longer video. So the video that we've used as a demo is only about, you know, a minute long, but let's say you've got a lot more content and you want to add more stuff, you can find longer um longer tracks. You can also add favourites as well. So instead of having to, to trawl through the whole lot of, um, you know, music tracks, you can add favourites to come back to later. Um, so again, full music library, there's stacks of content in there and you can sort that out um, however you want to. Okay. If you want to edit the audio a little bit, you can. You do have a little bit of control. So on the right hand side there, I'll just click the little icon. So there's, um, uh, you can change where the song starts, so uh, if you want to start a little bit later then you can do that and that's a nice way of trying to match the end of the song with the end of um, the video. Now Animoto is pretty good, it will try its best to um, match the song up to the video but unless, you, but if you don't have enough content then it won't, it won't be able to so one way around that is to just make the song shorter. Um, another way around it is to change the pace of the images. So let's say you um, had only like a handful of photos but you wanted to use a longer song. You can make it so that the pace of the transitions between the videos um, are a little bit longer so they stay on the screen a bit longer. So let me show you what I mean by that. You can see here um, that first number, 1 minute 8, is how long um, I've got with that content and 1 minute 17 is how long the actual audio is. So I may want to say, alright, let's, let's try and space it out by making the images um, move a little bit slower. So I'm going to click save here. Yep, so that's given me another four seconds or so, so that's nice. Um, or I may want to add some extra content. So on the right hand side here, you can see that I've got content um, or extra images that haven't made it into the cut. Um, now you can see I'm trying to draw this in and unfortunately it's not coming in because um, it's full. So it will say here, your song is full, we can't um, put any more content into your presentation and if there's anything that gets cut off it'll be dropped into this sidebar here so you may want to say oh, okay instead of cutting this I'd rather have this and you can change that out um, and or you may say all right let's make the pacing a bit faster so that I can squeeze more stuff in in that same amount of time or I may just want to choose another song 
Um, if you find that that song is full, you can also add another song. So you can almost, you know, change the track and then start adding a new section of images. Um, again, so that, that, that's another handy way of, um, I guess, creating transition between stories. You may have, um, you may have like a, a longer video that you want to share that has a bit more of a beginning, middle, end, and you want to use different soundtracks for different parts. You can do that with this. Um, so let's have a look on the left hand side. You can also do um, spotlight. So if you want one image in particular to stay on the screen longer, you can spotlight that. Okay, so that gives it more time. Uh, you can also rotate. So some really basic editing stuff. So if it's the wrong orientation, you can rotate it. You can also duplicate it. So let's say I wanted to, um, let's say you wanted to have this photo, right? And you wanted to just have two different captions. So you may want to duplicate that and you may want to start saying this is so and so and then this caption says this is the other person so um, you may want to duplicate in that sense you can also hold down the shift button and it'll select multiple pieces of content also so shift um, will be selecting photos between two points um, and control holding down the control button will select individual photos um, what this means is that you can then either do uh, deletes or group duplicates or you can do shuffles uh, which will just randomize the, the position really easy uh, so let's say you've done all that and you want to change a couple of settings so we talked about that overlay or that call to action button at the end that happens at the end of your video just, I've just clicked the settings button there and you can change some of the titles descriptions um, and you can also add the overlay so that when people pause the video that um, that comes up um, if you had a uh, this hard Animoto logo at the end of video you can't select that unfortunately um, you'd have to get a business account to do that um, so what that means is once you've created that video you would have seen um, in the demo that at the end there's an Animoto slide um, that's that's permanent you can't um, you can't move that all right, so from here, all you would need to do is click preview video and it will give you a, um, a quick preview of what's going on. Um, if you want to go back, you can um, click continue editing and it will close that. Or you can click skip and produce. And what this will do is actually create your real video. Um, so in the case of um, this, this is a copy of, of the demo that we've done. Um, it will then uh, start generating the photo. Um, you can see, here, oh, the video, sorry. Um, and you can see here, it'll, it says 360p. That's just the resolution. So that's the quality of um, the, the video. Um, as we were saying, the great thing about your pro account that you have as a nonprofit is that um, you can upgrade the video to whatever you want it to be. So if you wanted to upgrade it all the way up to full high definition, which is 1080p, you just click upgrade. Um, and again, this is free. Um, if you didn't have that pro account, you'd have to pay for this. Um, so then you'd be able to download the video and share that around. Um, and it gives, gives you an example of you know, what types of ways that you can use it. So you may, so if you just want to go up a little bit, 480p or, or just high definition, which is 720p, um, that's fine. But look, if you're, if you're using um, the free nonprofit account, I just recommend go for the, go for the, whole, um, the whole thing and just go 1080p and upload that to your YouTube video or your YouTube channel or whatever you want to do there. So again, super, super easy way to um, create stories out of um, small snippets of video and small um, images that your community creates. Now just a point on those little um, video snippets. Um, I literally went around the office and said, hey, can you just wave at the camera and hold this sign? And I used our little compact digital camera. So it wasn't even, it wasn't a fancy video camera. It wasn't a fancy big SLR. It was just a little compact camera. I could have used my mobile phone and just grabbed, uh, like plugged it into my computer and grab, got the videos off. Um, so you can use the tools that you've already got on hand to create these sorts of videos. Um, and, I, and obviously you can look at the demo and see the quality and see what you can do. And you can change all the different styles and there's some really cool styles that do all the different types of things. Um, and it's very, very 
easy to do um, and doesn't take much time, which is great because we're coming up to December and yes, Giving Tuesday is fantastic, but we also know that it's a very busy time for a lot of organizations that we're not asking people to do a whole new campaign. We're just asking you to um, create you know, a simple story around giving for Giving Tuesday and hopefully um, using your social media tools and that audience engagement and your user generated content and Animoto and your um, YouTube for not for profits account, you'd be able to do that really simply. So where are we at now? Let's jump back down here. So if you have your um, Animoto Causes account, I highly recommend you go and sign up for that as soon as you can. Um, and also get that non-profits account for YouTube as soon as you can so that you can make um, full use of them by the time 3rd of December comes around. Uh, the next steps, uh, if you haven't already signed up for the Giving Tuesday campaign um, on the website, please do. All you need to do is jump online, um, click become a partner, maybe even look at some of the ideas there. There's some other social media ideas that you can check out for not-for-profits in particular. Um, register your, um, your organization and just say, hey look, for Giving Tuesday, we're going to ask our community to share their photos and we're going to create a video about it that we're going to share with, um, with Australia via our Facebook page. Really simple, you can do something like that. Um, all right, uh, I recommend that you use the Giving Tuesday hashtags through all of your content so that you can stay part of that conversation and people can see what you're up to who, who may be looking um, at Giving Tuesday from Australia but also overseas. Um, go ahead and like us on Facebook as well because we'll be posting more content about Giving Tuesday there. And then also encourage your community to start getting involved. So start seeding that idea of, hey, on Giving Tuesday we're encouraging you to be a part of this movement um, by sharing how you're involved with our organization. So that's the website. You can have a quick look at, you can have a quick flick through that if you want to at your own leisure. Again, there are plenty of ideas and plenty of ways that you can be involved and I'll just scroll down. On the right hand side here, you can see that there are a whole bunch of um, not-for-profits and businesses already signed up. So we can join um, all these other organizations from across Australia who are um, taking part. So, Whew, that's it for this webinar. If you would, uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please add them to the question box. And I'll just wait two seconds. Otherwise, feel free um, to go ahead and sign up for those accounts. Sign up for Giving Tuesday. Sign up for your Animoto Pro account, and start telling your community story. Great, there aren't any questions at the moment, so thanks again and we hope to see your organisation signed up for Giving Tuesday and taking part in a fantastic movement and a fantastic campaign.